My name is Eric Lepenner, and I'm the author of the book, The Amazing Dog Train Man. In today's video newsletter, I'm going to show you a command that could potentially save your dog's life. And it's only going to take you between 2 and 10 minutes to teach your dog how to do this command. And what we're going to teach your dog is how to wait at the door. Because a lot of dogs, as soon as they see that door open up, they like to bolt out. So I'm going to show you how to get your dog to wait at the door and uh, how to teach your dog how to do it in less than 10 minutes. This is a perfect example of a dog waiting at the door until he gets the okay for me. Okay, buddy. Okay, so this is Jim, and Jim loves running out the door whenever it opens up. So the way I'm going to teach him to wait at the door is I'm going to give him the command wait, not stay. I'm going to say wait, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the door. I'm just going to open it up a fraction of an inch. And if he gets up to move towards the door, I'm going to shut the door. Okay? And then I'm going to open it up a little bit more. If he gets up, I'm going to close it. I'm going to open it a little more, close it. I'm going to keep closing it every time he gets up until he figures out the only way he's getting out that door is by waiting. Once he learns to wait at the door, then I can invite him through the door. So this is how you're going to do it. You're going to tell him, wait. Bridget. Bridget. Jim. Wait. 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 Okay. What you need to understand is that behavior is reward driven and your dog wants to get on the other side of the door because it's rewarding. He gets to go outside, he's free, and so you want to control access to the door to teach the dog how to wait. It doesn't require any force, doesn't require any treats or anything like that. All you got to do is control access to the door. So you can play this little video clip again and you can see how I did it. I just basically told the dog to sit, to wait. I open up the door just a little bit. If the dog goes, I close it. Open a little bit more close it the dog gets up until I can open up the door all the way without the dog bolting out the door and then I give the dog the all clear signal that he can go outside now if you're worried about your dog running out the door as you're doing this exercise put your dog on a long line get a 20 foot long line or clothes line attached to your dog's collar so that as your dog starts to run out you can step on that leash if you're not fast enough with the door I hope you enjoyed this video newsletter and please feel free to forward it to any of your dog loving friends especially if they're having problems at the door like this and if i can ever help you out answer any of your questions please feel free to email me eric at maystatedogtraining.com or give me a call 508-963-6489 thanks for watching